And this week we're back out of Wakesco Falls. We've been up here before, fish with Brian Bogdan, just a tremendous multi-species destination. What makes this area so unique is that not only can you catch lake trout, walleyes, and pike, which is pretty common here in northern Manitoba, but in these lakes around here, you can catch big fish. And so it's really a, a multi-species trophy fishing trifecta. Oh, this is a tank. This is their showstopper, Jay. I got her, I got her! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at this! That's why you fish northern Manitoba. Look at the that is the reason oh right there, my buddy. <laughs> There we go. Hooked up. Fish on. All right, coming. With the Arctic Warrior. We're dead beating just with some Cisco down, laying them on bottom. Got a little bit of a trap line, you could say, set up there. How's it feel? And taking a little bit of line. Oh, there he goes. Not sure if I see bubbles yet. Got the drag pulled up pretty tight too, so, but. When you're dead stick and you never know if you should put it on bottom or put it six inches off or a foot off, but uh, this one was right on bottom. I think last year we suspended everything mm -hmm. and found this year that they're picking way more bait off the bottom than hitting suspended baits for dead sticking anyhow. But here he comes. Oh yeah, nice Laker. There, nice work. <laughs> Nice. Not the biggest fish in the sea, but a good way to start. Yeah, uh, that's a great way to start. Here, get your pliers on you. Left mine on the snowmobile right there. Oh. Pop right out. That's the beauty of uh, barbless hooks. Barbless hooks. All right, nice. We'll get that in the water right away. Oh. There, nice. Well, nice. <laughs> <laughs> the sun ain't high. That's always a good sign. Yeah. And actually, been a more of a mid-afternoon bite this year, so. You know, good things can happen after 11. Yeah, that's the thing with lake trout. They're an apex predator. You're not going to catch fish steady all day. No. You're going to get these windows. Like you just have to grind it out, put that's in the time. Right. And three hours, nothing, and three, you know, three in an hour. Yeah, that's so, right. Just got to keep pounding. Yep. All right, well, let's get our back set up, right. and we'll get another one right away. So in Manitoba, one of the main ways we can get lake trout to come into our areas is with chum. Uh, you always got to check your regulations with every state or province you're in. Some are legal, some are not. But in Manitoba, where you can completely cut up any type of rough fish like tulipy, things with scales, what I like to do is actually scale them. So you push your knife down and you get some scales to come off in the water. What that does is they float down and it puts lots of glimmer in the water and it's a slow fall rate. So it looks just like a big school of Cisco or minnows down there. And a lot of times the lake trout will see that from a long distance away because we're in gin clear water here and they could move right in. But I just like to go up and down and then I like to go sideways to make it into small cubes. And then all I have to do is turn your knife as if you're filleting the fish and all those small cubes come off. So the more of those that are floating down, the better chance you're gonna to have to see, and the more scent you're gonna disperse, which then brings in the lake trout. We came up here last winter and uh, we filmed walleyes, lake trout, and pike. And you know, it was all incredible, but we really wanted to come back out here and just target these big lake trout, especially, and just spend more time fishing for them. You know, there's not many places around, you know, where you have a realistic chance at a fish over 40 inches. I mean, that's a, you know, in a lot of water, that's a 35 pound fish. You know, to catch something like that through the ice is just, it's almost spiritual. I mean, you just can't beat it. Oh yeah, look at there, look at there. Look there, at there you go. <laughs> <laughs> big old head. Oh yeah. <laughs> big old head on that thing. <laughs> oh, there we yeah. go. Beautiful. Boy, isn't that something? <laughs> Save the bait even. That hook split up and I thought that fish <laughs> got off. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate that never got caught on the bottom of the ice, eh? <laughs> yeah, we were lucky. Dude. But look at that. Nice. Awesome fish. Good job. Yeah, that's the way to. 
Let's get her in the water there. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll give you the honors, buddy. <laughs> Good fit. Hey, fill up that 10 inch wall. There she awesome. Goes. All right. Hey. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I one more on the board. I can never get enough of this. You know, in my opinion, it's just the apex predator as far as absolutely you know, best it is in ice fishing, and you're in such a beautiful place. And I just, I just love breathing in this air. Oh <laughs> yeah, she's here. <laughs> yeah. Well, things are coming. Things could be turning on, just like you said. The power hour. I like that. That's exactly lake trout fishing. You never know what hour is going to be your twilight. For lake trout, my tackle is usually pretty simple. It's tube jigs and spoons and dead baits with those dead rods. So we're using 14 inch tulipy. Uh, you can also drop suckers down or even burbot because they're considered a rough fish. The bigger the bait, the bigger the fish. So you're eliminating all the smaller fish. With tube jigs, I run anywhere from two and a half inches. I know that sounds really small, but a lot of times when you downsize, you connect into more fish. So I'll go from two and a half right up to six inch tube jigs. I prefer white. And when it comes to spoons, you want something with flash. And they don't even have to be a big spoon. Half ounces work well, like the leech flutter spoon, the quarter ounce last year produced a 38 inch lake trout. And you know, now they have the super leech flutter spoon and it's a little bigger profile with a little smaller, with a blade to get attached to the treble hook. And it adds a little bit more flash and you know sometimes those lakers see a long ways away with gin clear water so you want to fish those spoons all through the water column there, fish on okay <laughs> pass the favor back to you jay never even got a chance to clean our holes out yet <laughs> should be close he's not really moving water oh yeah he's moving water now Here she comes. Yeah, here she comes. There. Oh she. yeah. Oh yeah. Look at there. There you go, Jim. <laughs> nice fish. All right. Here. Where's that there. leech flutter spoon? Pop that Pop out. The mouth. I'll have pass her over here. All you. right. Nice work. Boy, they are just <laughs> solid, huh? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just, I just love how dark they are up here. Beautiful. We'll get absolutely. that fish in the water. Nice. Awesome, buddy. All good right. Good job, man. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep her going. You when you're covered in slime, that's a good day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> good day on my books. Today, these fish seem a little fussy. They're close to the bottom. The dead sticks have probably been as producing as many fish or more than the jigging rods, but that's just that super leech flutter spoon. Just got a little bit heavier duty split ring. That little flicker blade on, just a stouter hook. A little bit heavier spoon, but just puts off a lot of flash. And that's just tipped with a piece of whitefish belly, which is legal up here, but uh, boy, a lot of different places we go. It's just a killer trout lure. Well, here comes one. Fish on. That fish came shooting up off the bottom. Wow. That's why we're here. <laughs> that fish just came in and smoked it. Pull oh, my transducer off. Got a good one, Jay. Oh, you're making me run. <laughs> That's all right. I'll do it for you. Wow. I'll do the same for you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's peeled some line out on you this yeah. one, huh? That fish came shooting up, chased me about six feet and just slack lined me. Think your way's down yet? Yeah, I think I'm getting... I'm moving water now, bubbles, so it's a laker. And his head has started. Oh yeah, look at here. Better That's fish, Jay. Nice trout. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> right in the corner of the yeah, mouth. I tell you what, these funny this morning we couldn't do hardly anything jigging most of the fish came on the dead stick yeah now the jigging's starting to go like ha, ha. there she's burping out at us beautiful 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 nice awesome awesome fish there she goes Boy, awesome. they are strong Another one for the books. They kick away hard too. They they do. Just all muscle. Absolutely. There's so much power in that tail. Oh. It's incredible. 
even with the smaller fish, doesn't matter. They still fight like the yeah. Dickens, hey? Yeah, they're just a cool fish. Absolutely. Well, there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> there's more. Part of the excitement of coming up on this trip is, you know, we just loaded up a couple of vehicles with, you know, really good friends and, you know, we brought a few people up here that have never fished for lake trout. You know, got to see a couple of people catch their very first lake trout through the ice. And that's yeah. always a special thing. You know, once you do this a few times, it's like tasting sugar for the first time. And you get a little taste of it. And uh, I don't know if you can come up here and go lake trout fishing and do it once and not have a very strong desire to come back and keep doing it every year. Yeah, that's a great fish. Uh, your first yep. laker ever? Yep. Awesome fish, bud. There she goes. There she, she goes. Congrats, buddy. Goodbye. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, hey, that's yeah. always cool. That's something special right there. Yeah, yeah that is special. Absolutely. Oh, you made him mad. Look out, he's angry. He's angry. Yeah, that's like a good fish here. Okay, there's your leader. The sheer strength of that lake trout was just unbelievable. And just when you thought you were gonna, he was coming up through the hole for sure. No, no such luck. You're doing good. I think it is a dent. He's got a lot of, you just, he just figured out he's your hooked. Your reel's getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just keep running and running and it was just a wonderful experience. I've never caught a laker through the ice before. This is the first time. Well, I might be speaking prematurely, but. It's just a, an amazing fighting fish. It's always fun uh, to have the camaraderie with my friends who I really enjoy hanging around with. Oh, yeah, Dave. Dave. That is a way to start out. <laughs> <laughs> That's your first lake trip, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <Hey. laughs> wow. I was ready to give up on the flutter spoon, to be honest. I'd been working it and had a lot of drive-bys, but nothing ever grabbed it. Yeah. Look at that. That is a gorgeous, that is a, that is a It's color. just a fighting fish, isn't it? Oh, wow. All right, let's get in the water. There. Nice fork. That Good fish job. is probably Thank older you. than your Thank kids. You. Oh, what a blessing. That's <laughs> oh. awesome. Thank you. That is cool. That is cool. On to the next big one. You know, it's just classic lake trout fishing. Right off this bank, just a sharp wall of deep water out here. We're just right on this ledge here. And we, we've got dead sticks scattered out here on, on Arctic Warriors, which work really good for lake trout. And you just kind of hole hopping around here jigging. But, oh, there's a flag right there. Oh, this is a tank. This is their showstopper, Jay. I, ha I still haven't stopped them. This is reminiscing from last year. This is a big Same fish. Same rod. <laughs> I haven't moved them, Jay. I yeah, literally have not moved one. this fish. I can see I as soon as you set foot, the hook. No. That... <sighs> this drag is tight, too. Like, this is, I had it, I'm, I had it set pretty tight because we got that. I put a 16-inch tulipy down this one, <laughs> and a 12-inch tulipy fell off earlier there. So there was 30 inches of bait down there. <laughs> and I was hoping that he'd at least eat the one with the hooks. He maybe even ate. Oh, he's gonna go for another run. There he goes. Oh. I'm getting cramps. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's why we do this. Huh? <laughs> this is why you do it. Oh. Oh, dude. 
There's do a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to see Feels like he's coming up okay. Now we're gonna have to watch because I got two trebles on that quick straight rig. Make sure we don't get them put on the yeah. put on the bottom of the ice. I think he's back at the bottom. Gee, I think I just felt him hit the bottom there. Jason, what is going on? I think you got a big trout, buddy. <sighs> He's getting close to the bottom of the hole. I felt his. Yep. This is where. Here's a bubble. Here come the bubbles. Here she comes. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, oh my goodness. goodness. Oh, my goodness is right. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> come on, Jake. Get your hand in I got her. I got her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Oh that's why you fish goodness. big baits and that's why you fish northern Manitoba. The that is the reason oh right there, buddy. Goodness. Isn't that awesome? It's one of the biggest trout <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Look at this. That is incredible. That's a heavy toad. That that's is a, a heavy, heavy toad. Big well, fish. Let's get her dipped in the water. Yep. We'll get some hooks out and yep. when you're through the ice and you actually connect with something that's that big, that's truly a fish of a lifetime, not just for me, but for many people. And it's something that I will not take for granted. <laughs> that, is something else. that is in crazy girth on that fish. That is, that is. That's about that's a 40 inch fish right there. Yeah, let's get her in the water. Absolutely, bud. That is a massive. That Look at is that. a tank. That fish is probably as old as we are, Brian. Absolutely. And there she Whoa. goes, buddy. <laughs> yes, thanks for getting Whoa. that for me. That is awesome. <laughs> thanks for coming up again. That was just. That's why, right oh there. Oh my goodness. Just a chance. That's you know? a chance at that. Absolutely. That's a. That's that's more than a fish of a lifetime. That's uh, a fish of several lifetimes. Absolutely. And to get it on camera. On camera. That's something else. And you know those hooks were not in there very <laughs> hard at all. But you know. Whoa. I just, I'm speechless. I'm I absolutely speechless. I just feel like running off and doing snow angels and now we're done. <laughs> I can do cartwheels, I think. <laughs> oh man, unbelievable. That's awesome. Cusco Falls Lodge is located about 500 miles north of Winnipeg. It's about a seven hours drive and it's blacktop right to our doorstep. We have cabins that are open year round. So we do ice fishing as well as open water fishing and bear outfitting. So what makes our area so unique up here, in my opinion, is our high quality management. And what that means is that all those trophy fish that you've seen with the lake trout, whether it's pike and walleye, all those fish are back in our water. And it not only preserves our trophy fishery so that you have a chance at catching those fish, but it also keeps our genetics at high quality. So what that means basically is those big fish can make more big fish. You know, you look at these destination fisheries like we're up here with Kesco Falls and it takes a day to get here for sure. I mean, from Minneapolis, you're looking at a 14 hour drive to get up here. So, you know, so it's a long day. You get up early in the morning, get in here late at night, but it's not just, you know, where we fish and, and what we fish for, but you know, who you're fishing with, you know, and this is just one of those destination fisheries where you, know, you think of some of your favorite people in the world, make the trip and uh, you're going to make some memories. Fish, fish. Back's out of the way. <laughs> wow, that was just finished landing a fish and came and looked on the Vex and, and left my rod suspended. That was quite the sequence. I almost the lost the rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a little better fish than I think. We're, you know, it's power hour. We're yeah. on it. Yeah. It's a nice trout. There we go. <laughs> you know, more and more ice anglers are taking these destination style ice fishing trips all the time. And, you know, these, these locations, they're an adventure, you know, and they're off the beaten path. You know, if, if these spots were close to a lot of people, this fishing wouldn't be like this. And so, 
you know, more and more people are just taking the time to, to go off to some of these faraway places and, you know, just experience what, you know, in a lot of cases is a, is a fishing trip of a lifetime. But, you know, it's an adventure. It might not be for everybody. I mean, you're going to be walking through deep snow. You're going to be, you know, you're going to sleep good at night because you're going to be putting in a long day and you're going to be going through a lot of physical exertion all day, you know, drilling holes, you know, riding sled. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a workout, but and the days are long, but when you get in some of this incredible fishing, you know, and you, sometimes you can stop from that incredible fishing, just kind of look around and realize what a beautiful place you're in. And, you know, you really have to pinch yourself.